Hey, Mr. B, we're back. Hey, let's do this. We're talking about the types of soils here. All right, we got to the last soil video. So we got our learning targets here. We're going to describe the different horizons. They were mentioned in the last video. And then we're going to talk about some different types of soil. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, so right off the bat, I mean, we see two pictures. And yeah. those are drastically different soils. They definitely are. And if you look closely, I guess we can start over here on the left. We can actually see different layers. Mm -hmm. We can tell that the soil actually changes from the surface all the way down to uh, maybe, I can't really see how many feet that is. Uh, about at least, a meter or something like that. Sure. Down to the ground. We can see that there are differences in layers, and we'll talk about how they develop and then what is the difference between them. Yeah, and you can see on the picture on the right, like there's like no soil there. I exactly. Mean, I mean, that is the soil. It's just kind of broken down, weathered rock material. Yeah, and pretty large pieces of rock there, mm -hmm. too. And we're actually really uh, lucky here in the Midwest because it would take us forever. Chat popped up. <laughs> All right. All right, so let's go ahead and then get started with the different layers. And we already talked about the evolution, or you already talked about it with Ms. Awad in the last video, about how soils evolve and how it takes a really, really long time mm -hmm. to develop a soil that actually has all these different horizons. Mm -hmm. And so starting from the top, sounds like a good place. Start from the top. Um, we got the O horizon. So it's rich in organic matter. It's broken down leaves, sticks, dead worms, poop, all kinds of nasty stuff, all kinds of organic matter in there. Yeah. And then we go one layer below that, and that's the, the A horizon, all right? Or else consider topsoil, and that's what you would consider like that black with dirt, yeah. right? That you would see walking through the forest right underneath the organic material. And we're really lucky here in Illinois. We've got like feet worth of this topsoil. Oh, sure. This is like where all the biology is happening here. A lot of the organic material is happening here. Mm hmm and this E horizon is the weirdest one. Okay? Yeah. E horizon, they call it like a transitional uh -huh. horizon. And it's where the process of eluviation is taking uh -huh. place. And all that okay. is, it's just moving material from the A horizon to the B horizon. Yeah. And that doesn't exist in every horizon. I think it's the last one to develop, right? Yeah. Typically, it's only found in really mature soils where you've had a lot of time to move stuff from the A to the B. Yeah. And a lot of times, just like in the picture here, it'll come up as like this gray layer, or like yeah. a white or a yellow layer. And uh, it, again, it's very rare. It doesn't happen in most soils. Sure. And if the a, if the E horizon isn't there, it would go from A directly to B. Mm -hmm. All right, so then we'll talk about the B, the subsoil, high concentrations of iron and aluminum oxides and clays. And that's just from those clays because they're smaller. They fit between all the cracks, so mm -hmm. like the sand particles, and they fall down like root holes and yeah, like worm sure. holes. And uh, they just accumulate towards the bottom, and those iron and aluminum oxides accumulate just because they leached from the top. Sure. And then they sit on top of C, which is the broken down parent material. And that's when we talked about a lot of that mechanical weathering taking place, breaking it down, chemical weathering acting on it with the increased surface area. But it's basically the parent rock, which is as far down as it is, broken up into pieces. Mm -hmm. And that last one, the R horizon, that's just the rock you're starting with. Exactly. Okay, the parent rock. Now, you've got a way to remember these words, don't oh, you? Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. So we've got the O, A, E, B, C, and R horizon. And remembering them in order is really important. So uh, Mr. Baldwin and I came up with this saying, only alligators eat baby chicks, right? Right. Okay. <laughs> Wish we had a graphic for that. That'd be great. I know. I know. All right, so if we look at a really general way to classify soils, in America at least, okay. um, there's two main types. In actuality, there's like 30-some-odd main types oh, yeah. types of soils, but these are the two big ones in sure. America. So if you take a look, uh, there's that dividing line right down the middle of America. Mm -hmm. And this is about where the line where to the east we get more than 30 inches of rain per year. Okay. And to the west we get less than 30 inches of rain per Got year. Got it. So since there's so much more or less water present, we get very different soils on different sides of the, uh, sure. of the country. Yeah. So that eastern half is going to be... Uh, something called the Padelfer soil. Okay. Okay. And there's more rainfall, um, and it stands for uh, aluminum, and then the iron is the uh, 
FE part of it. So yeah. there's more aluminum, more iron that's basically weathered down, moves its way down the soil. We get more development to soils on the eastern coast. Yeah, and you know, with that increased rainfall, we could see probably increased weathering there. Mm -hmm. Maybe increased chemical weathering, mm -hmm. mechanical weathering, etc. And if you think about it, there's even like more biology taking place. So like there's more biological weathering happening. Sure. If you even think about just the uh, the eco the ecotypes that are present, you got more forest land yeah. over here more prairie in the middle and then I always think like desert everything west of that is like desert <laughs> yeah and we have a lot of high elevations there as well I mean we have the entire Rocky Mountains there and maybe there's not a whole lot of development of soil because it's on a steep slope mm -hmm. um, maybe some are so high in elevation that they really don't have that freeze thaw cycle mm -hmm. and maybe it's too high for any kind of um, life to develop there. Yeah, so we got really poorly developed soils, like if we looked at the horizons, you'd probably have more horizon development sure. out west, or sorry, east, and then a lot less soil horizon development out west. Yeah. Okay? And I think, Mr. Z, that is it. Is it? That's yep. it. Go to your class website, take a quick quiz, and remember that only alligators eat baby chicks. Right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, take care, everybody. See you guys.